Sage, did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yunkin. Yummy, yummy, yunkin. What kind of food was it? Food. What kind? I don't know. Yummy, yummy, it's yunkin. Ethiopian food. Ethiopian food. That's our train, that's our train. Oh, okay. We made it. Have a seat. By far the most annoying time to get on the train. It's rush hour in New York City. There's nothing I love more than being piled up with a bunch of strangers like sardines in a rush to go to go anywhere. It's the worst. Anyway, I'm going to get Sage. I'm running late as usual. Crazy train delays. It was freaking packed. And yeah, it was a lot. Hi, you guys are closed? No, we're not. Oh. Yes. So we're at Sanayon Cafe. It's a really yummy, the open restaurant by our house. What's up, Sage? I'm hungry. Well, we're in the right place, because the food is coming. We're saving forever. I don't want to wait. We had this talk yesterday. You're so impatient. You get, you definitely get that from me because I don't like waiting either. But good things are worth waiting for. Isn't it always so delicious when it comes out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Bon appetit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Somebody got the itis. Uh, I think we're done. <laughs> Are you full, Sage? <laughs> Just to check, it's great. Thank you. How was your dinner? Now you're ready to sleep, huh? <laughs> you look awfully relaxed over there. Ready to go? I'm risking my legs because they hurt. Oh, okay. I'm sorry your legs are hurting. I think it's because you're growing so fast. <laughs> so, we just got home from dinner at Scion Cafe. And I immediately jumped into my role because <sighs> That's one of my first things I do when I get home from work is get out of my work clothes. But it was really tasty. Every time we pass that place, which it's like around the corner from my house, Sage is like, ooh, let's go to Sion Cafe, Sion Cafe. And I'm like, they're not open, it's 9 a.m. But he loves that place. Sage, did you enjoy your dinner? What kind of food was it? Food. What kind? I don't know. Yummy, yummy, it's yummy. Ethiopian food. Ethiopian food. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. What kind of food do we have? Ethiopian food. Come here. I can't hear you. Ethiopian food. Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Yeah. And where is Ethiopia? In a country. It is a country, but what country, what continent is Ethiopia on? Africa. Yeah. Mm. As you can see, my house is in a disarray, which is very normal. That's something I really have to get past as a, as a mom because my environment is a huge indicator of my like <laughs> mental stability sometimes. If my house is a mess, like I feel a mess. But kids are messy and they are chaotic and they don't 
care for things like that. They are literally exploring their environment and everything is new to them. So I have to accept the fact that I'm gonna have a messy home, which is not always easy to accept. I'm usually very like, oh, I feel like a slob. Look at my home. Forgetting that it's mostly my kids fault that the place looks like this but I'm usually so depleted that I don't even I'm like I'll get to it tomorrow I'm like I have to dedicate a day to clean up because I'll have to do it when he's not here and a day when I'm off work a day when I would be okay with not just like sitting on the couch and being a couch potato because every once in a while I have to have days like that too so yep my house is a mess this is motherhood. At least he's happy, right? <laughs> what a luxury to clean a home after a happy child, I tell myself. We're about to wind down and relax. I'm about to watch Housewives, my Thursday ritual. And yeah, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Good morning. We are getting ready to go to school. I like school. I love that. We're getting ready to go to, I'm getting ready to take Sage to school and I am taking care of some things. Not feeling so hot. Ugh, I need to wash my hair because it's really itchy. Anyway, we're doing that. He's gotta be at school in like 40 minutes. So, we're gonna get dressed really quickly and I have to pack his lunch like I do every day. Um, but, I want to say hi. And I'm very casual today, as you can see. Sweatsuit. So I have to make Sage his lunch today. And it's gonna be quick, cause I'm running behind. Oh, I don't have bread, I forgot, I don't have bread. Okay, it's gonna be soup. I brush my tongue and my teeth. Good. You got all of them? The ones in the rack too? No. day come on we're super late school start school started right now so climb on it this is a transformer yeah let's see this hello hello Charlie. yep have a seat sage mommy mommy yes this is the transformer car hold this on Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. I'm my, I'm mommy, and today, today, I'm making a pookie video for the Halloween. So it's almost Halloween, you know. And so, the first yeah, Halloween passed already. It's almost Christmas. So we're gonna play this Christmas movie game. Then. This Christmas movie is called Pokeboo. So I never have played this game before, so let's get ready and start to play. Alright. Here you go. Ma! <laughs> We're headed to school. It's so interesting how it... By okay. the way, my, yeah. these are my actual reading glasses. And Here's I Pokeboo. don't love 
that they shade when you go outside in the sun. I don't love that. So I might have to get new shades or different ones. But anyway, it's so funny how like in New York you don't have to have a um, you don't have to have a car seat if you're in a taxi or Uber. What do you do if you're in a personal car? Which I never really understood. Well, this is a transformer car. He thinks it's a transformer car because the door opened by itself. Sure, we'll go with that. I just dropped Sage off at school. Those teachers are so cute. We were walking in and they were literally just saying, do we see Sage come in yet? <laughs> As we were walking in. It's so impressive that they remember all the kids and when any of them are missing, they're like, we didn't see so-and-so come in today. <sighs> That's kind of cool. I don't know if I could do that. Um, but yeah, his school is really great. It's a Spanish immersion school, so it's bilingual. He's learning Spanish. I mean, right now he kind of understands more than he speaks, but I imagine that's kind of where they start with it anyway. But um, yeah, he's off to school and I am going, I'm actually going the wrong way. I should be going uptown to, you know what? I'm gonna go to the salon, see if I can get a bowl out today. My hair so I popped over to the beauty supply let me see let's see which one do we need hmm oh, that was the one I'm looking for I think Single. Oh, this is the one that you put on with rollers. It's not the one I need. Oh, hi, girls. <laughs> uh, is it here? Swim cap. That's not what I'm looking for. Do you have um the doobies? The net? Yeah. He got it back there. Oh, okay. Just one, please. Three twenty-seven. Big Apple Pay, right? Yeah, we got a minimum for the car, six dollars minimum. Can I get two then? Okay. So I have to leave. I have to run out the salon to get some little doobies to wrap my hair because I couldn't figure out if I wanted to do a center part or a side part. And now I'm running to the ATM so I can get some cash because it's cash only. But I was in there a little longer than I planned, but I'm gonna still try to get my tasks done today. So I just left the salon, the Dominican salon, and I got a wash, a deep condition, blow dry, flat iron, all for $50. That's why I love it. And it lasts me so long. <laughs> And I'm not usually like a bonnet out the house kind of gal. I got my doobie on, that's why I'm wearing my hood. But in this case, I'm just gonna leave it wrapped and leave my hood on. I have a few more stops to make um, before I go get Sage and head home. So I'm just gonna be rocking the hood today um, because this is very, this is very New York to just walk around with a doobie on like this. Like that's what the look is given today. So now I'm going to Popeyes because I'm craving some fried chicken. So that's where I'm going for lunch. You know how it is when it's a chain restaurant that you like or there's a lot in the neighborhood, but each one tastes different. So when you're near one that you know is good, you always have to go. That's how I feel about this Popeyes on 135th. So I always go there after I get my hair done. And I'm excited because it's gonna be good and I know it. Consistency, that's why I return. Oh. 
My package is here and it ain't still. Great. So I got my doobie on. She's staying on for the rest of the night. And I was supposed to go see my cousin at his job to go get the cake, but he forgot it, so I'm gonna go tomorrow, which works out better because then I'll have more time to like, you know, take care of some other things. So it works out that way. Anyway, I don't know why this happens a lot, but I can almost always bank on my packages being stolen in New York. It's a problem. And luckily, my mom sent me something from California and it came. And it was sitting in the lobby and it was there. So I'm happy about it. I, I actually really forgot that she was sending me anything. She did let me know, but I was at the hair salon and they called me to buzz the door open and I thought it was somebody just trying to get in the building and they called me like three times because I kept hanging up on them. But the last time I finally let them in and I'm glad I did because it was an actual delivery, not somebody just saying they were UPS or FedEx or whatever to get in the building. So that worked out. Okay. Let's crack this open and see what she sent. If I had a guess, I know that there's probably something for Sage in there for Christmas. But no one thinks about me. I'm chopped over. It's all about Sage, right? Some socks. Can never have too many of those. Oh, cute little Christmas book. Oh, my mom, she's so cute. She sent almond biscottis. I don't even like these like that. I'm sure Sage will love them though. She loves them. That's probably why she got so many. She was like, let me just get rid of some of these. But Sage will probably eat them. The soft bite almond biscotti. Lemon cookies from Trader Joe's. You know, I feel like the, the items at the grocery store in different states are all different. I mean, for the most part, Trader Joe's is pretty consistent, but I don't know if it's because it's a lack of space here. They can't have everything, but I definitely noticed like when I'm in California, or somewhere else they have things that they're Trader Joe's they don't have in New York and I know they do mostly like local so that's probably a factor but fruit leather love these these are so nostalgic for me not this brand specifically but just fruit leather they remind me of like fruit roll-ups and stuff you used to eat as a kid but like an adult version mm. cars these, I feel like Sage probably left these at her house and she's like, I don't want to store these anymore, so I'll take them back. Oh no, these are new. The kid has a lot of cars. Trucks, cars, you name it. Oh, that's cute, little mailbox. <laughs> With the sliding door. That's cute. I wonder if Sage will even know what this is. Like, does he even know what USPS is? And then, another truck. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in the box because if Sage see it, it's a wrap. The next phase of my day is gonna be cleaning the apartment. Dreading it. I'd much rather just relax, but it's gotta get done. I have to do it before Sage gets home or else it's not gonna get done. So, let me get to it. When you can't tell me now, you can put your on it on me. I just got to Target in the fog. I'm already irritated because, first of all, that line is just and I saw this very same toy. Look at this, this toy. They're charging $70 for this Grave Digger toy that I saw at TJ Maxx last week for about $20. That's a damn shit. I'm a little tight because I should have just came straight here in the morning. But instead, I went to the damn hair salon. So I'm gonna be stuck in this line for God knows how long, but they do have such cute 
baby stuff. Like, look at this. How cute are these little... Look at these shelves. Emptied. The toys are gone. That's crazy. Where are all the toys? <gasps> all the toys are gone. This is wild. This is wild. Look at it. There's no toys. Nothing. Oh my goodness. I am kind of mad. I just came all the way over here for this. Empty shelves. That's crazy. Damn. Well, it's a good thing I didn't wait to the very last, last. I mean, it is kind of the last second, but I came here for little bits anyway. So I'm just get a bunch of little cars and little bits here and there. But this is crazy. Oh, so my camera died at Target. And it's uh, 1.30 in the morning, but I wanted to come on here and close off the night. It's Friday night, and Sage already got to that gift. He busted it open. He got to it somehow before I even got to wrap it, so womp womp. But I did get some goodies for him at Target, even though the shelves were empty. But tomorrow we have some other things going on, so we'll see you guys then. <laughs> you are so silly. Good morning. We just woke up. Look who's here. Fresh in from the North Pole. It's not hosting a disco. My kitchen light is just weird. Um, we're gonna start with some. Well, Sage's gonna have some hot chocolate. Cause it's a holiday weekend. Why not? Um, and some marshmallows. So, gonna make that for him. Gonna be a light morning, and then we're gonna get out of the house a little bit later. Okay, so Sage just got picked up and it's about 5.12, it's exactly 5.12. And um, I need to run to Nordstrom's really quick. I also have to go to um, Soho. And then I think I'm coming home after that. I really want a glass of wine. I'm probably not gonna go out to do that. I'll probably just pick up a glass. Um, on my way back home and just have it at home and chill and relax. I'm just gonna get my glasses because I can't see y'all. Um, I hope I'm warm enough, honestly. It says it's 39 degrees outside. I just have on a hoodie and a vest. We'll see. If I get cold, I'll try walking extra fast. I'm gonna go run downtown real quick. Hopefully I can get this all done before Sage gets back home, which I don't know what time he's gonna be back, but I presume it'll be late. This is the outfit. I've been just doing, I'm in my sweatsuit area right now. So I'm just comfy, cozy, hopefully warm enough. So, I'll be back. Made it downtown, and I think I'm gonna make a few stops before I go into the store to get the toys, because I don't wanna be stopped with work stuff, so. 
plan. Hey guys, so I made it out of some stores. I did a little bit of shopping, just killing some time because I wanted to get here uh, after everyone left because I didn't want to be bothered with work stuff <laughs> to come in and pick up. So I went into Aritzia, it was a madhouse. They have mostly coats, which is not what I'm looking for. Cute ones, but um, I'm kind of looking for a little simple, I don't know, something that speaks to me to wear for Christmas dinner. I may not find anything and that's okay too. I'd, I'd be fine with not spending the extra money, but I would like a nice little dress or something, something festive. But uh, I went to Zara too and they had some festive things, nothing that really spoke to me though. So I didn't get anything for myself at Zara, but I did get something for Sage. So I got him a little fit. I got him a little sweater. And this is like kind of Christmas-like, but not really. I didn't really want to spend on a Christmas sweater because he may not even wear it again. So why bother spending on a Christmas sweater? So I got him something that was Christmas-like, but not only allowed on Christmas, something that he'll wear again. So that's cute. And I know, parents of toddlers, I'm very aware that we do not put our clothes, we do not put our kids in all white clothing, right? So I went out on a limb, I couldn't help myself, I got him some white pants. <laughs> and honestly, for the first wear, okay, they might get dirty, and they're gonna look clean and crisp for as long as that lasts. But I think it'll also look kinda cool like to have them be distressed afterwards, like visibly dingy. I think that could be a look, so I'm not too, worried about them getting all beat up and dirty after he wears them on Christmas. And then I just got him some white sneakers to go with this outfit. Super casual but cute, trendy for the holidays. So I didn't get myself anything, but I got him something, story of my life. But anyway, I am here just to pick up some presents that I got for him for Christmas that I left at work. So I'm going to get that now. Turn the lights on. I hope it's not too much of a hassle to carry, but we shall see. Oh, somebody brought little chocolate goodies. How sweet. Look at it. For Hanukkah. Aw, cute. Hey, hey, hi. So it's the next day. It's Christmas Eve. And I did. Oh. I got some black cake for my cousin. It's rum cake, Jamaican rum cake. That's who I was going to Nordstrom to meet to get this cake that my mom got for me. And this is it. It's a black cake. It's a Jamaican rum cake. There was a cherry, but somebody got to that. I wonder who. So I'm gonna try some of that. But yeah. We're gonna be chilling today, relaxing. I'm gonna have some wine, and I know it's only almost one o'clock, but I might get an early start. I deserve it. So, um, I'm gonna continue editing. I need to do my nails today, so I'll do that, and go to the grocery store, pick up a few things, but this is it for my first vlog back. Vlog back and um thank you for watching and please come back let's stay in touch join my village and like comment share subscribe and i look forward to seeing you soon